Yeah, merch is available. Yeah, we're perfect. Absolutely, go to Redbubble, find us and everything and nothing there. Uh, now that we've hoard ourselves out, just fantastically, I think this this is the best. That's the best of what we do. Solid fucking opening here, uh, guys. We do have three fantastic guests for you, and I just have one question: Are you fucking ready for them? What I love about all these guests that came uh, is they've all been on our show. Uh, one of them wrote the theme song you just heard. Uh, true. One of them has been on the show more than anyone else. Uh, and it's just one of our favorite people. I mean, they're all our favorite people. So that's so cool that they uh, are, were able to come and be here for this. I'm glad that we're your favorite people too. <laughs> uh, fucking with that, what am I, honestly, like, we should hang out more. We, we used to play a lot of video games, and then I got depressed, and so now we're gonna have to pick that back up. Because, uh, once again, a beautiful, almost Lion King-esque human being. Give it the fuck up for the only A.C. Some advice for depression. Video, Video games. games. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah. it really helps. <laughs> really helps. But you know, I'm doing good though. I'm uh, I'm happy that you know, the COVID restrictions are being lifted. You know, right? Thank God. All right, we finally can move around. We can travel a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because I love to travel, man. I really do. There's there's one place in particular, man. I really gotta go to bad, man. Real fucking bad. That's Japan, man. I gotta get to Japan. I gotta get to Japan, really, for for one reason, honestly, and that's that's because I think it's the only place that chicks will really believe that I'm the weekend. <laughs> American bitches are not buying it. I'm not buying it. But I think I'm being optimistic, right? Like. What happens if I get there, and instead of them all thinking I'm the weekend, they all think I'm Whoopi Goldberg instead, right? Like, you think so? You think that's better? You're so famous. Yeah. I'm too, I'd be too vain. They'd be like, oh, I'd be like, arigato. You guys haven't seen Color Purple. They too have seen Color Purple. Shout out to these two. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, dude, uh, oh man, I've been I've been traveling a lot, you know. I've been going out to. I just got back from DC. Yeah, I was in DC. That was fun. Smoked some weed at the Capitol, you know, like a good American. Like, you know, it's better than rubbing shit on the Capitol, right? Like, I feel. A little bit. I think it's a little bit better. Marginally. Marginally, you know. And, uh, you know, I went to, the best part of DC was all the museums. You know, I went to, went to the Museum of African American History, man. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. But I'm not gonna lie, dude. It's, it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot of trauma, you know. A lot of, a lot of hardship. A lot of guilty white faces. A lot of, I was asked one of them for 25 bucks just to see what would happen. Just, uh, just, uh, and if anybody gave me shit, they're like, oh, you don't see the sign outside? Dad. Anytime we ask you for money, man. Of course not. Why people don't read signs? <laughs> I gotta say, though, the best part, there was a little bit of comedy in the, in the museum. The best part was that after you got through all the like hardship, all the, the bad shit, you know what I'm saying? They had a second floor <laughs> there. They had a, a animatronic lady, like a, a, a hologram lady teaching people how to like stomp, you know what I'm saying? How to dance. And just, uh, 
chef's kiss to whoever designed this museum because they knew the perfect sort of reprieve for all our tragic trauma, trials and tribulations is watching white people learn how to dance and it's just ah, it's just a breath of fresh air, you know, it's just like, oh, okay. It's like she's in on it too, she gives him a big wink like, you're doing great! <laughs> Yeah, man, uh, how long should I, how long am I going on? Is it, we're doing 10? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just, I wasn't sure. Now I know. If you, if you were getting to the end, I, I'd let you know. Oh, okay. You, I have a microphone here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I just didn't want, I didn't want to overstep any bounds, you know. You got this. Okay. I believed you the whole time. Okay, cool, cool, Love you, cool. AC. Thank you. I love you too, Chris. I know. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's, you know what? Come here, man. Oh. He lets you touch his head, so. I... <laughs> it's because I haven't returned the favor ever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> I need to be in that, that sort of relationship. Yeah, yeah I'm single. You know, it's, I'm single on these streets, you know, and it's, it's all right. You know, I'm on, uh, I'm on some dating apps. I'm on Hinge. And Hinge is weird, man. It's a weird one. It's like all the women in Hinge, all of them have the exact same opening line. It's weird. They always say, they're always like, So, what brings you to Hinge? I'm just like, Pussy, ma'am, is what brings me to Hinge. I'm not here to raise my credit score, right? Like, what are you talking about? I don't know, it's hard dating. It's, I think it's because of dating in Portland, man. Portland's weird. Like, dating in Portland's weird, like... Women are done with straight dudes in Portland. We are out of here! I just... It is over with! They are done with us, man. It's like... Portland's the only place where women want you to have sex and dick before they give you some pussy. Like... Uh, I didn't sign up for this. It's, it's weird, weird that they like push that kind of shit onto you too. Like I was on a, I was on a first date with a lady, right? Just met her. She was just out of nowhere. We're having a delicious meal. And out of nowhere, she goes, "So what's up? You just fuck chicks?" I was like, "What? You just fuck chicks?" She said like that. She almost like grabbed me by my shirt. Like, you just fuck chicks? Like, ah! Like, well, uh, me and my pillow kind of have a complicated relationship. I'm not gonna lie. There's definitely some teddy bears. I'm glad that can't talk, but yeah. Chicks. And she like, like rolled her eyes, she's like, ugh. It's, it's so, so cliche. cliche. I was like, well, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> you know? It's weird. It's weird, weird. when we'll be like, oh my god, god you're so gay. gay. And now we'll be like, I, I just fucked you. Like, like, I just sent the whole clip of semen in there. There ain't nothing left. Like, I just, I just I did the straightest thing I could do. do. Alright, alright. Shut the fuck up and let me watch my crazy anatomy, okay? And I'm gonna run me some bubble bath. Listen to you, Ari. I don't want to hear shit. Thank you. You know, I, I get it though, man. I get it. Since men, we we haven't taken care of our mental health. I guess that's why that's why we have. And if be real about it, we're the biggest crybabies about our health too. We'll always be like, well, nobody cares about. But we ignore the fact that we're the ones who made it so that nobody cares about our mental health. It's like we're just sitting here hitting ourselves in the balls. Like, why does nobody care? It's not women's fault, man. Women been begging us to get our mental health taken care of for fucking ever. Nah, that shit's gay. <laughs> I know I'm not gay. I have a very particular kink. Very, very, I love period puss. Yeah, well, oh, you guys, you guys must have misunderstood me. I'm sorry. You must have thought I meant like putting the pussy in a bonnet, you know what I'm saying? Or like giving the pussy a fedora and a Tommy gun and being like, yeah, she, yeah. You're gonna fuck me, Shane. You don't fuck me good, Shane. You'll be sleeping with the fishes, Shane. I don't want to kink Shane. That's not me, right? That's not what I'm into. I'm into riding red tides, motherfuckers. Yeah. Fuck red rings, all right? I am the captain of this ship. Yeah. No, it gets real serious. Me and my girl, we have a fun little code word. She'll come up to me. She'll be like, babe, babe, babe. And I'll be like, what? And every time she does that, right? 
I automatically know what she's about to say, right? Because I can smell it off top, right? Like, what? <laughs> it's not weird, guys. It's not weird. It makes my mouth all watery and shit, you know? Mouth's getting a little watery right now, actually. Uh, anyway, uh, so <laughs> guess what week it is? I'll be like, what week is it? She'll be like, Shark Week! And I'd be like, yeah! Chum them waters, girl! Daddy's going swimming! We got a whole ritual, right? First thing we do, I stop everything. We go get steaks, rare. Order some red velvet cake, nice red wine. Go home, change the sheets to the red. They're white when we bought them. Then we put on a bunch of shark-related media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of my favorites is Deep Blue Sea. Yeah, spoiler alert, I don't know what happens, but every time Samuel Jackson gets eaten, I come. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I like Samuel Jackson or it's because I hate Samuel Jackson. I don't know. It's confusing. A lot of dudes think they're tough for like being able to go into, into the uh, grocery store and buy their girl tampons, right? Like, oh, they think it's some pride. Oh, wow. I think those men are cowards. I think those men are pussies. If you was a real man, real man, you'd be your girl's tampon, all right? Listen. What? No, I just love watching an audience be 100% with you for like 98% of a sentence and then immediately go, oh no, this is the wrong alley. I didn't, it's great. No, keep No, there's some it. real men out there who understand what I'm talking about. My girl knows better. She knows not to disrespect me. I'll slap a diva cup out of her hand so fast and I like, get this shit out of my house. What the fuck is wrong with you? We got any Cardi, Cardi B fans in the house? Yeah, we like Cardi B. <laughs> you like Cardi B? I love Cardi B. Oh, cut her. Okay, I see we have another connoisseur in here. You'll like this. You'll like this. You know, uh, Cardi B's at a great place in her life. You know, she had a great place in her career where every time she comes out with a song, you know, something, there's one line in it that makes everybody mad. And the line in this, one of her more recent songs was, broke boys don't deserve no pussy. Okay, we got another connoisseur. That was your moment. Ah. I knew, I knew you knew, I knew. And she's 100% right, man, she's 100% right. And it made a lot of people mad, like a very specific demographic, real fucking mad. <laughs> didn't make me mad at all. Made me grateful. Man, I know I didn't deserve any of that pussy I got. Thank you, it made me start <laughs> texting all the girls I used to hook up with. I was just like, thank you, you know, like, I remember when you still fucked me before I could roll blunts and we smoked weed out of a pop can. Like, you may be the man I am today. And then WAP comes out, clap. Everybody's got a problem. And whatever their problem with that song is, that's their fucking problem, all right? I love WAP all the time. I just walk around with a bucket and a mop all the time, you know, just all over, like, uh, I call it my WAP mop. You know what I'm saying? I just walk around with my WAP mop. What, how, who could have a problem with wet ass pussy? I heard the other day, some dude was griping, he was like, well, they canceled, uh, baby, it's cold outside, but wet ass pussy. Bro, baby, it's cold outside, it's about rape. <laughs> like, that's, uh, wet ass pussy's very consensual. It's, it's the greatest thing in the world. I love pussy. I know. I love pussy. Oh, okay. I'd be, I'd be nothing quick in pussy, dude. No, it's, it's okay. I don't feel bad about it. I don't get embarrassed. It's fine. It's because Kegels are a thing, right? Like, that's just, just that's just, it's not fair. You know, like, women can just be at work putting their pussy through CrossFit, you know, sending emails. They're probably at the show right now. Just a hee hee and oh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Meanwhile, you guys' pussies are getting reps in like, ah, ah, gonna make them come so quick with this buff ass pussy. You got pussies built like China from the WWE, all right? My dick's built like Morgan Freeman, okay? Don't be mad at me. It's got fresh. No gray hairs yet. No gray hairs. I dye them. Am I good? Yeah. <laughs> I thank you guys. Have an AC O'Neal. Yes, an AC O'Neal. <laughs> he already knows to join us on stage. Absolutely. Uh, I'll be on. Uh, you should probably it, go to that one. Well, it's on. It's on. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you couldn't drag me off this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so some of you uh, have joined us during the time that AC has been on stage. And again, welcome. Welcome to the party. Yeah. Honestly. Uh, this is a live recording of our podcast, Everything and Nothing. That's right. Uh, it makes exactly as little sense as you think it does already. <laughs> You're caught up. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Uh, I'll be honest. Uh, somebody is a time bogart, so we're going to move on real I quick. I thought you were going to cut me off! <laughs> you said you had a microphone, right? 
That's that's a, <laughs> that's the safe assumption. I well, know, I know. Should've it's hard. It's I, th- I thought you were. I was waiting. I was like, okay, we're gonna said, keep going. Okay, I started. It's fine. We're here, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna keep this party rock and rolling, moving and grooving. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, are you guys ready for your next fucking guest? Yeah. You goddamn right. You are. Is she in here? <laughs> yeah, that's a good. That's a good question. Well, that's great. A. Ryan, turn it off. She's not in here. Hang on. I fucked this up, Don't Ryan. worry. It's okay. I know all the words. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. You remember how uh, we're very professional up in here? Yeah. Totally keeping that on brand. We're still doing that. It's going great. This, fucking... yeah, this is all going to plan. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you've ever listened to any of our episodes, this is going exactly as well as it ever does. So thank you again. Uh, AC, I do want to kind of address a, a thing real quick while we have the time. What would you yeah. like to address? Well... So I did find my girlfriend on Facebook date, and my credit score has gone up like a hundred fucking points. Oh, so I'm just saying. So I get on Facebook date because these chicks on Hinge are not helping I'm, my credit score. I yeah. just don't think In you're doing slightest. this right. Yeah, maybe. The, the, the implication if you're on Twitch, and when they say like, "Oh, so what brings you to Twitch?" Like you said, uh, or, Hinge. Not Hinge. Sorry. Twitch. Yeah. I I got the brain disease. I have the brain rot. I don't know what it would bring me. But don't worry about it. Uh, but. They, they say, well, what brings you to Hinge? As if, like, everything else has failed. Like, yeah, you've, you've, been to ev- you've been to every CD dive bar. You yep. hit on just every... Like, so what brings you to Hinge? Like, you, like just you have finally no... ended up here at the end of your dating Yeah, line. here you are on the rock Oh, she's bar. here. Uh, All right. We Play can that, that shit. Bring it back. Say, little bitch, you can fuck with me <laughs> if you wanted to. This is bad, but this is good. Hit I can get them both. I don't want to. That's why when you say, do you like Cardi? I was like, nigga, that's my come out song, bitch. Thank you. I was at the bar. I'm sorry. Shout out to the bartender for having my back and telling me to get my ass up in this bitch. I got you on a tip after because it's in my back pocket, my B. What's up, y'all? Make some motherfucking noise. Yeah. Everything and nothing in this bitch. In this beard. <laughs> I was a theme song if y'all heard me rapping. That was me. I was out here trying and shit. Out here trying. Hey, make some noise if uh you gay in this motherfucker, or bi, or whatever the <laughs> fuck you are. Cause it looked, yeah, it looked like it hurt. <laughs> I walked up here, I was like, God damn, it looks rough. Well, make some noise if you straighten this motherfucker. I don't fuck with y'all. You know it was real weird. Somebody, some people didn't clap at all, so I fuck with y'all. <laughs> it's okay. They said I love who I love, bitch. Fuck you. Trying to fucking call me out and shit. It's okay. I like. I I knew I was gay like my whole life, but my family kept telling people it's just a phase. She's just a tomboy. It's just a phase. I'm like grandma. It's been just a phase for 20 years. I wear boxers, eat pussy, and got a strap on now. <laughs> it ain't just a phase, grandma. And my family's disrespectful though. They're disrespectful because they never want to introduce me as Trista to none of their friends. They just be like, hey, that's our gay auntie. You know the one who looks like Queen Latifah on Set It Off? <laughs> like, damn, can I look like Queen Latifah on any other movie? Taxi? Something? Shit, holiday? She be looking cute in that shit. But like, on some real shit, I never really had to come out or say I was gay or anything. Because look at me, guy. I'm screaming sports bras and scissoring. Fuck y'all. <laughs> We don't really scissor, y'all. That's too damn acrobatic. I'm going to save that for all the straight girls on Pornhub. They could break their coochie bone, but I'm not. <laughs> Fuck that. Especially skinny bitches. They're hip bones. That should be hurting the next day. I hope yeah, we're on this live. Skinny bitches. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I hate scissor with skinny bitches. Y'all fine, though, but damn. But, like, on some real shit, though, like, tell y'all this. Y'all ready to get. I know. I know. Here's the Cardi fan. What, bitch? Okay, so uh, when I was uh, growing up, y'all, on some real shit, I, it was before, like, I knew I was going to dress like this. <laughs> um, I wanted some titties. You know, you a girl, you're like, man, I want some titties. And so I used to, like, pray for titties all the fuck. And then I got those motherfuckers, and I'm mad about it now. I'm pissed. Because one day I woke up, and I went from, like, a A cup to a B cup to back problems. <laughs> 
And I just wanted some small titties, y'all. You know, like the little triangle titties all the skinny bitches be having. But nah, this nigga gave me Baywatch titties. Do you know how hard it is to pull off Baywatch titties when you look like Lil Bow Wow? That shit is fucked up. <laughs> it's okay though, bitches love my titties. Cause they're gay. <laughs> it's okay. I be, uh, I be dating hella bitches and like, I, I was on this date with this chick and she was like, hey Shrista, send me a pic? Yeah girl, she might got into her pic and she was like, nah, 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 nah. Can you send me a dick pic? The fuck? So I go over to my drawer. I'm like, damn, what's your favorite color? <laughs> like, yeah, my issue wasn't that a girl asked me for a dick pic. My issue was, is this girl a blood or a crip? Cause I don't wanna send her a blue dick Dick pic and have my dildos gang banging in the drawer and shit. Like my dildo collection, y'all, is diverse as fuck, man. I told her that straight up. I was like, hey, 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 hey. I got a light dildo, dark dildo, small dildo, big dildo, long dildo, short dildo, blue dildo, black dildo. Still dildo. Still dildo. As I put the dildo on, I just was like, really? I really just did that in front of like, it looks like people's fucking mom's dad. <laughs> Let me stop that. Shit got weird, fuck it. <laughs> so I, I do comedy, but I also rap and shit. Cause you know, sometimes I can't express myself all the time through comedy. So I consider my entertainment. And so I, I wrote this rap song actually. I wrote this rap song cause I was mad at a bitch. I was mad about eight bitches. <laughs> <laughs> so I wrote this song and people always ask me who it's about. Bro, it was about like eight fucking bitches. I am finally admitting this, okay? It was a lot of motherfuckers, so sometimes I perform and it's about that bitch right there, sometimes about the bitch over there, man. Yeah. So we gonna drop this song I wrote. It is on Spotify. And uh, someone asked me that earlier and I said, sort of. Because the second verse is actually from my remix that I haven't dropped yet. Ooh, 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 ooh. As I slip, ooh, whoa. Uh, they got her doing, hey. Moonwalking and shooting. Hey. But we gonna drop this song. It's actually called Thought She Loved Me. But uh, I spell it T-H-O-T. Cause I thought that thought fucking loved me, y'all. Hey, DJ, drop that beat. Since it's a comedy show, I decided, I know uh, y'all niggas ain't about to stand, so. I should really, really. I'm gonna bring my ass down there. Hey! Thought she loved me. Thought she hugged me. Thought she really, 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 really fuck with me. Thought she loved me. Thought she hugged me. Thought she really, 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 really fuck with me. Thought she ride with me. Thought she grind with me. Thought she really, 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 really fuck with me. Thought she ride with me. Hey! Thought she grind with me. Thought she really, 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 really fuck with me. Thought she loved me. Thought she loved me. Thought she loved me. Thought she really, 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 really fuck with me. What was that about? Bad, Bitches, Bitches only claim they, they love me for the clout. Hair did, nails did, can't deny it. Bitches only had me around so, so I could buy it. I like a Mexican, black, and a snow bunny. They all fucking me hard because I'm cocky and I'm funny. Nine lives, lost two. I'm a local celeb, top fan in your boo. Good nigga, dimple in my cheek. Didn't wanna fuck you, bitch. She just wanted to cheat. Your girl was drunk, spooning on, on my couch. couch. I could have fingered that bitch because she was all, all up in my house. house. All up in it. Well, got away seven days for bail. <gasps> Talk to my shit, so put, put me down. Hey. She loved me. She loved me. I she usually like run, but I couldn't. Really, 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 really fuck with me. That she loved me. That she hugged me. That she really, 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 really fuck with me. Fuck with me. Oh, wait, hold on, y'all. I think that's for me. You can't borrow my cash app. <laughs> no, you can't. Get the fuck off my phone, bitch. Hey. Thought she loved me. Thought she hugged me. Thought she really, 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 really fuck with me. Thought she loved me. Thought she hugged me. Thought she really, 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 really fuck with me. Thought she ride with me. Thought she grind with me. Thought she really, 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 really fuck with me. Thought she ride with me. Thought she grind with me. Thought she really, 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 really fuck with me. Being backwards for that bitch scoliosis. She had me manipulated, feeling like hypnosis. Fuck that bitch. She stank halitosis. You know I'm the shit. I got followers like Mogus. Thought she hugged me, thought she loved me, thought she fucked with me. Ace the victim card like a school degree. I'll admit, I really got played, but I cut that bitch off like a barber shop with a fade. Okay, listen, I was your upgrade. You fell off so much, bitch, you probably should have stayed. I'm bossing up now, I really got it made. I thought out here hating, but I'm really getting paid. She thirsty, I got her a Gatorade. Heard so many whispers, bitch, I got a hearing aid. You an actor? 
after you, nicknamed Charade. Really thought she loved me, cut my heart like a blade. She loved me, she loved me, she loved me. Thought she really, 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 really fuck with me. Thought she loved me, she loved me, she loved me. Thought she really, 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 really fuck with me. Thought she ride with me, thought she ride with me, thought she grind with me. What y'all say with me? Really, really, really fuck with me. Thought she ride with me, thought she ride with me, thought she grind with me. Thought she really, 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 really fuck with me. Thought she ride with me, thought she grind with me, thought she really, 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 really fuck with me. When I say fuck that bitch, y'all say fuck that bitch. 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 Hey. Yeah. Thought she loved me. Thought she hugged me. Thought she really, 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 really fuck with me. But you know what? Hell yeah. Fuck that bitch. Yeah. Fuck that bitch. Thank you guys. My name is Trista. Everything and nothing. Asthma attack! That was lit! Oh my god, Comes thank you so nope, much. Take Trista. A, oh yeah, I, I guess you can have an alcohol, yeah, I all guess. Right. Oh my I god. Guess. I know. Woo! Trista, everybody. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> all right. <laughs> Are you thumbs up? Yeah? Are you ready? Yeah? Yes. See? We're doing this great, guys. We do have one more guest for you yeah. before we start getting into uh, the meat of this. Oh, Ooh. my. <laughs> like, so far, you guys are getting a lot of the everything right now. <laughs> and we're about to venture heavily into the nothing. Deep into the nothing. That's, that's fair. That did need to be tall. This also needs to be, but he can figure that out because he gives me tall-ass microphones every week. <laughs> <laughs> every Tuesday, you can find this next gentleman at... E uh, the Misfits Bar and Grill, yeah. uh, as it has now been known. Yeah. Uh, every yeah. Thursday, you can catch him hosting an open mic here yeah. on this very stage. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You'll also catch the Northwest Black Comedy Festival coming in February, yeah. so please go get your tickets online. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, really, Google uh, Dirty Angel Entertainment, and you're going to find all the shit that this, all of these people do at Dirty Angel. And uh, I can't fucking wait to get him up here. Please welcome <laughs> the real high Everything, nothing, everybody. Yeah. This, is, this is it. I appreciate they brought the elder up last. Uh, <laughs> you know, couldn't do all that dancing and shit. You know, <laughs> I had to stretch before her set. I was like, God damn, she doing a shit. She about to do what? Damn, damn near pulled the muscle watching her. I was like, Oh shit, uh oh, can't do all that shit. I'm. I'm a little older, man. I got kids. You know, I done raised them all. I got uh, I got four amazing kids. I got three boys and one girl. Yeah. And the thing I've learned about having three boys and one girl is uh, girls are expensive and shit. <laughs> Unrealistic. You know, like my daughter don't realize we're poor. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know if she ain't get the memo. I don't know if she ain't. I just don't know. Cause like my boys will call me and they'll ask for stuff like you know like dad can I get twenty dollars for gas oh, all right yeah cool dad can I get uh fifty dollars I'm going out on a date that's still okay even dad I'm short on rent can I get a hundred dollars I can do all of that I'm not tripping you know my daughter nah she don't realize we poor she called me the other day like dad can I get some gas money I was like yeah how much you need she said enough to get to California what the fuck I don't even <laughs> How the fuck do you even add that up? How do I how do I calculate that? How much is that? Ridiculous. She don't know we poor. She don't. For her birthday, for her 16th birthday, she did what every 16-year-old does. Ask for a car, you know. And I was like, okay, cool. I was like, what kind of car do you want? My daughter said a Tesla. <laughs> I go look out the window to make sure our car is still there. I was like, hold on. I was like, right, I got a 1998 Buick LeSabre sitting outside. <laughs> so if they'll take that... As a trade-in, <laughs> I'll get you a motherfucking Tesla. And today, I want to tell y'all, my daughter does have a Tesla! Yeah! Hubcap on the left side of the car. That's all I could get for my car. They was like, we'll give you a hubcap. I like, she'll take it. She'll take it. And I still got to make payments. I try to... Yeah. She just don't know, man. Poor. But 
Out of all my kids, she's the only one that went to college. You know what I'm saying? She's right now, my daughter's at Portland State right now doing her thing. And uh, again, yeah, you applaud, but y'all don't know how much that shit is costing. <laughs> again, she does the most expensive shit. Can't you be dumb like your brother? You see? <laughs> they dumb, this ain't cost me a goddamn dime. You want to go get smart and cost me, get me a bankruptcy. <laughs> But I said, I'm going to get her through it. I said, I'm going to get her through college. I got So uh, to help my daughter get through college, uh, I will be giving lap dances out front <laughs> after the show. <laughs> I got you. I'll work with you. If you got a fetish, if you got a fetish, I'll work with you. You know, maybe you like uh, the Golden Girls. Thank you for being a friend. You know? Maybe that's what you want. Maybe some fellas out there like Knight Rider. Dun, 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 you know, whatever you want, I'll work with you. Maybe you old school. Maybe you like good times. Keeping your head above water. Making your way when you can. Temporary lay your good times. Let's go! Where the fuck? My goal is to get on the pole so my daughter don't have to. You know what I'm saying? The fuck I'm talking about. So if you see me outside dancing, mind your fucking business unless you next. God damn it, shit. Don't fucking worry about what's going on over in this bitch. Just, shit, it's hard. Been married uh, 24 years. 24 years, man. And a lot of people ask me, what's the secret to a long last? And I'm going to tell each and every one what the secret is. One secret to being married to weed. Okay, that's it. It's weed. Weed will keep you married 24 years, especially the weed here in Portland, because this shit is different. Because whatever the name of this weed is, that's exactly what it does. I smoked some weed the other day called You Gonna Lose Your Fucking Job. That was the name of the weed. I still smoke that shit, and guess what? Lost my fucking job. So now I'm looking for a strain of weed called Good Credit. You know what I'm saying? I just, just trying to 420 my way into an 820. You know what I'm saying? I just want to... Just want to be okay. But it helps with my marriage, man. Because I was smoking this weed the other day called Helen Keller. I rolled this shit up. I couldn't hear or see a goddamn thing. I ain't, I ain't give a fuck what was going on in the house. Yeah. One of my homeboys came up. He was like, hey, man, you ain't going to tell your kids to calm down. They tearing shit up, swinging from chandeliers you don't got and some more shit. I was smoking that Helen Keller, dog. <laughs> I don't hear shit. I don't see shit. I ain't care. A few minutes later, my wife walked. Say, hey, you ain't gonna tell these kids to calm the fuck down. Smoking that Helen Keller, babe. Yeah. I don't hear shit. I don't see shit. But it backfired on me. Because I looked over, my wife was rolling something up. I said, like, hey, baby, what's that you rolling up? Some Lorena Bobbitt. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> you know what? Your shit a little bit stronger than mine. I'm gonna put this out and go check on the kids. That's the fuck. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just get that out the house. We ain't even gonna like that shit no more. Get the smoke out of here, too. I don't want none of that shit. <laughs> But, uh, you know, but being married, like, I, I love it. It helps with my marriage, man. But being married, you know, that's a long time to be. 24 years. And you know what? You got to do things to keep the sex exciting, too. 24 years, it can get a little bit mundane. It can slow down. It can get ridiculous. So for my 23rd anniversary, my wife did the old. That's right. Gave me my first three. Yeah. 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 Actually, no. It's, uh, it's two very important things that you need to know when you have the threesome, fellas. There, it's just two. Just two. First one, the first one, wait your motherfucking turn, okay? <laughs> if you got two beautiful women going at it hot and heavy, wait your motherfucking turn. That's right. For the first 45 minutes of my threesome, I was on the side of the bed like a game of double dutch. I was just like, hold on. <laughs> Oh, no, no, you almost had me. Hold on. Yeah, I'm in there now. Ah. Wait your turn. And the second thing is you better do it right or you're going to hear disappointment in surround sound. No, stop. No, no. But one of my friends from my anniversary gave me this some book. Some heard of it. The Karma Sutra. Has anybody ever heard that book? It's like all these different sex positions. I'm 48. I don't move like that no more. I can't do that shit. But another one of my friends gave me this book that my wife loves. It's called the Afro Sutra. Yeah. All the sex moves are named after predominant black leaders in history. My wife loves this. First move we did in the book was the Martin Luther King. Yeah. That's why I smacked her on one cheek till she turned to the other cheek. Couple history buffs in here. Couple ah. people. Explain it to your friend. Just, oh. She loved it. The second move we did in the book was the Malcolm X. Yeah. 
That's why I made her come by any means necessary. <laughs> Sometimes I wasn't even in on the play, just on the side of the bed like, good job. Wow, you see that yeah. shit? Wow, fucking amazing. Stretch it out. Don't get a cramp. Don't get a cramp. <laughs> High five. All right, all right. But the last move we did in the book was her favorite. She loved this one. It's called the Rosa Parks. Yeah. It's where she sat on my face and refused to get up. Just... <laughs> We're gonna do this other move called the George Washington Carver. Something about nuts, but we never got we never got around to it. We just we never did. Oh my gosh! And y'all being such a wonderful, wonderful audience. Um, before I leave, y'all want to tell you something. One thing that's uh, dear to me because when I got married, a lot of people say when you get married, the sex stops. They said you don't get it no more. It's bullshit. I want to tell each and every one y'all. 24 years of marriage. I get it when I want, how I want, any time I want, and any style that I want. It's right. But if my wife catch me in that bitch, she gonna kill us both. Oh <laughs> my God. Yo, I'm the real high jinx. That's my time. Thank you. I want to thank each and every one of your performers for you the night. You just demolished that. Damn. 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 Hell fucking My yeah. My cheeks hurt, motherfucker. God uh, damn. The real hygiene. Yeah. The real one. Thank you. Thank you. Except Emphasis. no substitute. None. Thank you. Thank I'll be honest. Jinx, the question I get most as I was promoting this was why the real <laughs> There is actually a very good story behind it. I know. So, uh, <laughs> this is a segue. When I started doing comedy, I was just going by the, uh, the moniker Hyde, and, um, and I would, that was just all I was using. But at that time, when I got to Portland, there was a gang member by the name of Hyde. So I would go to shows, and they would have my name on the flyer. You'd have all these gangs like, we're about to whoop this nigga that, yeah, we are. Who are we about to? <laughs> who are we about to beat up? Who We're looking for high jinks, and I'm like, I'm high jinx. They're like, uh, high jinx. <laughs> You ain't the cuz hygiene. <laughs> so I had to change it to the real hygiene just so it wouldn't be no. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know. Because they're trying to get shot. Yeah, they're trying to die. Yeah. That's crazy. But, but that's probably a good audience. But, but I did get a good turnout. That's, that's all I'm saying. Say. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Hey, Cole, he's yeah, funny as fuck. He hilarious. No, after, you, after you talk him down from choking, you was like, look, man, it ain't me. You might as well stay for the show. <laughs> right? Yeah, you're already here. Right? Y'all done all caught the max out here together as We're a gang. So right. so, nigga, you, I, I mean, did ride the blue line down here, cuz. Right, you know, <laughs> the 72 run every hour. Y'all can catch a little bit of the show. <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, that absolute need for attention brings us to the one and only. <laughs> what? Are we doing? It? Are we actually doing this? Oh, right? We're, we're oh, going to yeah. do it. It's our first live edition of this I'm podcast. Like, wait, we're we're going to do oh. the mental health check. Yeah! yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Look, I'm going to be honest, guys. We started doing this uh, around the time uh, things were closing down. Yeah. And, yeah. That uh, whole we, thing, whatever we, that was. We realized uh, that a lot of people <laughs> were real uh, broken in that time. Including us, us. included, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can go listen to 30 episodes of Psychosis if you want. <laughs> but... Uh, my point is, we realized that like getting people to talk about their mental health and taking it seriously was kind of an important thing. I started going to therapy like two years ago and getting my shit figured out. Uh, so I've, uh, I've always thought that it was an important thing to bring into this, and especially knowing all the fun shit that's happened this week <laughs> politically, <laughs> even uh, I mean, much less just what's in your own damn mean, lives. Yeah. Yeah. I do want to check in, guys. How are we doing? Let's start with, uh, yeah, let's start with AC. You're probably the... The happiest. I, yeah, I, I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm doing, happy, I swear. No, I believe you, but I'm I'm, you. I'm getting a snake Hell on yeah. Saturday. What? Yeah. So Rep my Tyler mental Cal health is fan-fucking-tastic, baby. Getting a snake. Snakey jakey. A little snakey. For real, yeah. for real. For real, for real. Yeah. It's going to join his four axolotls. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah. Yeah, they're the best pet snakes, you know. Everybody's like, oh, a dog. Gross. <laughs> I mean, Snakes are the best pet. They're, they're lovey, they're cuddly, and home defense, bro. 
Who's gonna break into a house with a 15 foot python in there, huh? Fuck no, this guy's got a snake. That's what I'm saying. Oh, fuck with Who snakes. Who needs a dog? It is it is much harder to garrot somebody with a dog. I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you that. Dachshund, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> the ASPCA. Well, I'm not cold. getting a snake. Nah. You should uh, do it. It's good for your mental health. I'm what? telling you. It's good for your mental health. I'm gonna say, <laughs> for my mental health, I might get a snake, but it's gonna be a different. It might uh, be called a dildo. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, my I goodness. Do I do need a new one. Um, She's talking about a penis. <laughs> I mean, they do come in all kinds of varieties. I almost bought Sizes. a sword once. Huh? Did you ever I see have this? Goliath like a sword? right now. I a sword? Relax. Yeah. A sword dildo? The dick comes out like this. It's the blue, about this long. you got a good handle on it. Dude, you okay, should call the Excalibur. Go check it out. I like full That's like something out of You should get a snake dildo. Like a, like a dildo that comes out and opens so up like a, a cobra green or some dildo. shit like that. You want a green ah, dildo. That's what he's saying. He wants That's a it. green dildo. Oh a I rain mean, dildo? There's a already green? a th- ring? G-R-E. Oh, a green Like dildo. the Hulk? Damn, I got a gap. Did I not speak <laughs> well? Yeah. <laughs> My bad. My I mean, they, they hey, have the alien ones. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I mean, you could you could like I draw like, like a little green. snake on the top. <laughs> you could give it a little tongue. Okay. Oh, so shit. animatronic dildos is that? What yeah. It? yeah, I'm sure we that's they're out there. Snake to dildo that to sounds like yeah. an yeah. animatronic yeah. waiting to happen. I'll be honest. The competition. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's over for us, man. This is a mental <laughs> health it's check. It's over. <laughs> We're out. Look, Just buy a snake, dude. Let me find out. I will terminate. Life will be so much better. Time travel back and kill. <laughs> the inventor of this <laughs> manatronic dildo. I'll be damned. It's attention. over with for us. Are you, you're going to John Carter him? <laughs> Tron dildo. And I stand firm on that. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how we got into dildos. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. So our mental health is cool. Uh, yeah. He got it, a snake. I got a good. dildo. What you got, Jinx? Uh, <laughs> actually, this is probably the best I've been we, mentally. Yeah. You know, I hate you. Literally. <laughs> This is probably the best I've been Love mentally that. in the last uh, couple years. I'm probably, yeah. I'm finally in a. You're moving into a new place. I'm, right? I'm in a comfortable Hell place. Yeah, like I can Hell actually, yeah, uh, clap it up. Boom, boom, pow. Move it on up. Plenty yeah. of, plenty of room for snakes. Yeah, and, you know, other things <laughs> yeah. like that. So yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm blit. I Hell guess yeah, say. I'm just blit. Yeah, my mental health is good. How about you guys? How's how's yeah. how's? Oh no, we live in a nightmare world. <laughs> <laughs> We've been well. I mean, I've been stressing about this show for the last couple of months. So uh, I've been letting human. Charlie stress about this show for the last I was couple of say. months. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm so stressed, but I'm cheesing. Ah. Yeah, you got this. No, it's, yeah, uh, this this feels really good. It's like uh, getting out, seeing some people. Oh, okay. Yeah. First show, first, first show. show, motherfucker. Hell like, yeah! I, like, I and they the homies though. We support them. Like, yeah. when, when I'm exhausted Ooh. and I'm when like stress and stuff like that, I just get so insulated. I'm just like, I'm gonna sit there and play video games. It's like, to leave me alone. I'm not. I'm not even opening my door. These yet. are our square white friends. Yeah, yeah. 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 Guys, that's true. We love them so much. We oh, do. Hey, we slowly you, turning into a Hickey <laughs> Mori, You know, you need <laughs> good in case of in case of emergency white people. Yeah. Yeah. I'm These not two like, are like, are like, oh, there. What are the These police like? Yeah. That's not showing up. <laughs> right. Well, you're not even wrong, though. But it's because yeah. my dad. <laughs> it's because my dad was an Asian drug dealer, <laughs> and so uh, like, you learn the shit to say. Yeah. You'd be like, no, Facts you go answer mixed. the door, Chris, and don't tell him anything you don't have to. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking. Oh yeah. That's how we need yeah, the, the code. Shit. People like you. Teach all the other white people that. Yeah. yeah. What you just said. Yeah. I don't mm. answer questions. Niggas in here. There's Remember those <laughs> Oh, nigga. Oh, I see a half. Please. I see a half. Man. Oh, no. There's a, oh, yeah. I forgot. We're, we're on stage. Shout yeah, out look, to, uh, I I'm going to say detained. Zeke's fam in the building. Hey. Zeke's yeah. fam. Yeah. Shout out to little Conejo in the building. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Shout out to Dirty Angel in the building. Dirty Angel. Yeah. 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 Hell Thank you. yeah! Why I'm we're a, so I'm, black. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm see, I'm trying to be, I'm the older one up here. So I'm, <laughs> I was I'm, I'm being a little bit more refined <laughs> and like, like, look at these knuckles. What, 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 what are your, what are your opinions Can't on take these little How do you feel? nowhere. Look at them just <laughs> acting up here. He said, "I'm over here being the adult." <laughs> Fuck yeah. is, damn it. Yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm. This is quiet me. So like, you no, I know. Yeah, if, which is weird. I thought we smoked two blunts. And you we we did. An I'm, hour or two ago. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. how long ago was I'm that? just trying to be, you know, cause, I, you know, yeah. They won't hide you. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, true. Um, 
They look. I'm only drinking CBD. So like, Same. We're doing what we can up here. Same. Again, talk to your senators and your congressmen. I would love to smoke weed indoors more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should. Yeah. How, hold on. Let me ask. How many people in here are old enough to remember when they were still allowing people to smoke indoors here in Portland? Okay. All right. Cigarettes. Uh, okay. Like, in the hey, same oh, question. Smoke. Cigarettes. How, cigarettes. I don't how many that. of y'all uh, used to smoke them at the Copper Penny down on <laughs> Fall? <This laughs> My mama used to go to the Copper Pity all the time. Hey, man. Shout out to the Copper Pity. I got a baby Pitty Saturday Pitty night. Pitty Smoking I got a baby Copper Saturday Penny. night. All right, Copper we going to the Copper Penny. I'm Copper dead. Penny yeah. I haven't heard that name in so fucking long. You remember? That was, this yo, the Copper, the Copper Penny. Penny. Yeah, that's the. Wow. That's the. Throwback. Copper Penny was a place where you could go for a nice show, listen to some good music, and see a fight or two. You're gonna, you're gonna see a fight or two. Probably my mom. Cause that bitch straight. You know, you see the best fights. She's so good. You know, and uh, and my skinny ass worked security up there. <laughs> hang on, hang on though, because I heard from the audience the words the best fights. Yeah. Now, as somebody who grew up in the town of North Pole. <laughs> and has witnessed a man named Santa Claus get into a fist fight with a man <laughs> named Chris Kringle. Okay. I don't know that you can say the best fights. I'm going to challenge this. The best Portland fights. Yeah. Okay. You got me there. That's I fair. can't even argue that's with Chris Portland. Kringle and Santa Claus. <laughs> or is he cr- either, right? either there or at a strip club. That was, that's where yeah. the best Portland fights yeah. are. Those strippers will fight. I like how we went strip other. clubs and the audience <laughs> went. I'm yeah, not fighting a strip club. I don't know what the fuck y'all doing at. I know, clubs, but hey. it's not the patrons, it's the girls. The girls be fighting. No, nah, I love strip clubs. Nah, I love strip clubs. They ain't, they ain't fighting with me. I, See, yeah. again, no. younger yeah. generation. And da, 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 da. See, you know, hang I on, go to the strip club with my wife. Next Friday, Mike Evans hang on, right hang on. Okay, so I know a few things about the three of you. Happening. Okay, I know you've been to a shit ton of strip clubs. I know you've been to a shit ton of strip clubs. I know you've been to a few. Me? No, I've. I've been, I've, to, been I've, I've, been to I've been to strip clubs. I've been to a shit. I've never fucked, fucked a stripper. Clubs. I've never fucked a stripper. I made out with one once. That was. That oh, was cool. You mean fuck the stripper or fuck the stripper cool. at their strip club? Younger Younger generation. Okay. Difference. Okay. But Thank you. I made out with a. Everyone fucker. can fuck a stripper. Uh uh-uh, I don't. Fuck what? A stripper at their job, no. Though. No. Can anybody fuck no. a stripper? No. I can really? Fuck a stripper. I, they're just no, people. Like if you can, it's a human being. You've got the same chance. I drank too much. Oh God. Okay. You know, I just can't, listen, I didn't have the most misogynistic set out here. All right. <laughs> I just, oh, yeah. Younger Boy, I forget, generation. You can't say oh. So here's the fun divide the here. I have been to a strip club twice. One really? of them was wow. Courtney's birthday. The oh, silence. okay. Silence. Okay. If only it was, if it wasn't for court today, it would have only been once. What club was it? What club it was? W- uh, no. Oh, Big shout out to it? that club, though. Where were you located in Portland? Shout I'm out such to the, a whore of a strip club. You, you can't. Probably Tell have, me the area. No, no, hang on. It was a a, I can, in her brain. She's like, oh, you're in the Southwest? It had to be. It had to be. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you well, do you know what zip oh, you code you were using? Cabaret too. Shout out to Cabaret too. Cabaret too. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to... Plead the fifth of Cabaret yeah. 2. Which one? So then it was Cabaret 2. Never mind. Uh-huh. Yeah. Plead the fifth, Cabaret 2. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I remember going to the house with you. It tunnels down like this, if that helps you. Oh, no, yeah. that was Cabaret 2. They tunnel oh, yeah. down. That's Cabaret. Back to Cabaret yeah. 2 is Cabaret. a plead the fifth. Hey, God bless Cabaret 2. I ain't saying shit about God Cabaret. God bless this human being who walking in. I walk in there and these niggas act like I'm Beyonce and I'm just right. like, mm. But the thing I don't know Woo. is, Charlie, have you ever been to a strip club? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Thank God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did he say I expected yes, him yes, to be yes, like, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I, yes, I, yes, I have. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Me and Candy are real tight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had my old manager at McMinimins take me to the Boom Boom Room for her birthday. Oh, oh see boom that? Boom. He said he from SWP, Southwest Damn, Portland. Damn, I don't even know <laughs> the Boom Boom Room. Uh, and yeah, uh, she, I, got, yeah, she got she got so sure. drunk, she was like falling down. We had to like walk her to the car. That was oh, great. Oh, damn. Uh, Dev- boom Boom Room is black uh, girls, though. What's that, so what's that one that's, that's all Charlie's saying right now. <laughs> on Southeast Powell, uh, Devil's Point. There you go. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yo, yo, they're all bad. I'm not saying <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, the stars, they just dropped from Stars the Cabaret in Beaverton that got bad like, bitches raided always. for sex trafficking. I don't trafficking. know if I've been to that. Oh, one. shit. <laughs> I was like there, and then a month later, it was gone. I'm like, huh. Oh. 
Good. Stars and Thank bad God. Strange. <laughs> Let's go on the strip club trip. I would love to take you to some strip clubs and That'd just go. I would love to. Yeah. Can we all go? Yeah. Like, like, I would love. I would we're love. Going, yeah. We're going. 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 We're We're going. 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 We're can't hurt to try. Yeah. yeah. Chris, okay. Charlie, we'll y'all. You heard strip club, strip club, strip club, strip club, strip club. All right, I got to talk to my manager about it, though. Okay. Oh, right, right. I hate you. Look at that. Look, younger generation. Okay, okay. Now, look, unfortunately, uh, some people got to bow to capitalism or whatever. Uh, some so, bullshit. I know. Uh, AC's got to go because he's got a job. He's got to get back to her or I whatever. I got to make money to give to strippers. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, hey, throw must, them dollars. Oh. I, they don't run on hopes and dreams anymore, man. I got that in abundance. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> anymore, <laughs> yeah. Back in the day. Fuck so, okay. it. All right. I love you, though, Thank AC. You Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah. Shout out, AC. Uh, woo -woo! Love you. Be safe. Peace out, fam. Okay, right, now, man. Oh, man. Jinx, I also know that you're... you're we got, go ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah, go, just don't even worry about it. Just, okay, just go. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, since we're talking about Jinx, let me just say this about Jinx since we're here. We're setting um, up I'm our on a podcast time. like a hundred times. You guys always say, uh, you guys always hear me say, I've actually never been on a podcast. Hi, Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to take like 12 seconds to say, um, when I pursued comedy, I went to an open mic that I heard about from my mom, this guy who's hella dope, who's our friend, blah, 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 blah. And I went to it and it was his show, it was his open mic. And I went there. And I showed up to do 14 minutes, which apparently you only do three. Yeah. That's right. Seven. Out. Actually, seven. And this, and this, oh, seven. Yeah, he did it different. I liked you before that, actually. That's why I went there, I think. And then this nigga straight up said, Trista, you could do your whole set. You a new comic. Who cares? And then I did my set. Go. And I just want to say this just for some kudos. After I did my set, my first open mic, I've never looked, watched stand up. I never really did stand up ever. Right after the show, he said, Do you want to do a show? And I said, Yeah. And he booked first annual Black Comedy Festival. Yeah. It was my first show ever. And it was seven days after doing stand-up comedy. Man. So it's always wild to me that he believed in me that much. Like, and I never told you this, and I'm gonna do it on a live fucking thing. <coughs> but like, you believed in me that much that you saw me do comedy for 10 minutes, and you fucking booked me, bro. Yeah, that's... Uh... And you booked me like on some real shit, like to the, I'll, I'll tell you, because I wanted like that, because you believed in me. Yeah. Oh my God. You, uh... You just got really... I don't want to say is I... This is super heartwarming up here. Oh my! I appreciate you believing me in me, nigga. Like it was the thing you uh, when I didn't we, know what I was doing when we first worked together. Like you can just uh, there's one thing about Dirty Angel we can spot talent. Like we know talent, and I was Ten just minutes, like, bro. Yeah, and I was just like, she's talented. I actually took her on the road with me. We performed in Tacoma. I took first her on the road. tour, yeah. first on the road. Yeah, you? so literally, you know. So uh, I saw something in her, and I still see something in her. She's super talented. Her music is dope, Thank and uh, and and I know I haven't got out enough to support because me and my wife are trying to build our own empire. But I'm gonna get my way out, and I'm gonna start checking out your shows and supporting because you are dope. You are doing dope music. You are dope, and I think. And I thank no. you always for booking me for my first show, being at your first open mic. And honestly, you booked me for my first Man, uh, I was in your video. It wasn't just the first show. Like, this nigga booked me for the first five. So I appreciate yeah, you. It was it a was, thousand people. It was but dirty. You were the yeah. first. You it was her. Guys, dirty yeah. That's true. Courtney yeah. is his manager. Me. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, don't get me beat. Shout out to y'all and Courtney before I get my ass beat. Yeah. Yee, yee. Bam. Okay. Thank you, man. Back to y'all. Sorry. I had First off, how's that kudos. for a fucking mental health check, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. I think we really I had to get it. my kudos because I ain't never been on a podcast with him, and this nigga literally believed in me. Do you see why we don't actually script anything? <laughs> yeah. We would yeah. never get heartfelt moments like this. <laughs> this is what it happened. It'd be and fucking I don't beautiful. do that shit, but hey. Hey. That was dope. Like, I'm, I'm touched. Yeah. Like, I'm touched. Really? Okay, and now we're going to go from that very heartfelt moment to, to talking yeah. about federal crimes. <laughs> and Tell us what your guess to be. Great, great, great Are timing. Ready to play? That's right. Can you guess if it is? Alaska man, Arizona man, Florida man. So Let's this is our Romeo theme 
song and my pretending I don't know who's Alaska bred. All uh, right. Well, no, no, no. Another oh, wait, actually, I'm no, no, so no, no. What's, high, what's, I don't know. What's going to happen? And uh, oh, kept... God. Oh, oh, no. Oh. I got a 50-50 chance. No, I'm so <laughs> high. I got a yeah, 50-50 chance. Yeah, I am the Alaska man. I don't remember man. which one of y'all motherfuckers... Oh, okay. I am the Alaska oh, man. Oh, that's okay. all I do know. Dang, yeah. okay. Yep. I thought I was So, cheating. okay, but what's going to happen is we're going to read off headlines. Your job is to get whether the person in that headline is from Alaska... Florida or Arizona. Okay. I can do this. Not you. Okay. I, I am not I going to home. tell you whether I'm in any of these headlines about crimes. And of course, I'll just start with that. Okay. <laughs> and of course, yeah, okay. the audience is going to shout out the answer. We got understand. you. All, All right. right. Oh, for sure. Are we ready? Sure. Let's, I got this. Help. Let's do one and they'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> do, do, okay, my fault. Okay. That one didn't count. That's just a teaser. It's just a teaser. Okay. Bad charge was killing two elderly neighbors. Over laundry room dispute. Lost my temper. There he is. We have to guess what? You, oh, no, that's Florida. This nigga, yeah, that's that Florida. He got on Florida. white deck shoes with that outfit right now, I bet you. Florida. <laughs> Arizona. Portland. Oh, uh, that's no. not one. My fault. My fault. My fault. No, no, no. I lied. It's Florida. 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 Yeah. That's Florida. Damn. All right. Damn. All right. That was just Were practice. You like, we all, that's we all Florida. Yeah, that's Florida. That's Florida. Well, I, I, that was you there. That's okay. Florida. I was like, who's saying that? Okay. So a man's phone number mistakenly listed as Kari Lake's campaign headquarters. That's Kari Lake, yeah. Arizona. Mm. I'm going to go with Arizona. 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 Yeah, all, all the political Arizona frogs in the in the audience here, they all know. Arizona. I don't even know who that is, I first off. I just want to say that. I just want to put that Arizona out is. there. I don't know. I'm not sure who that who is, but is it just seems like they don't celebrate Martin Luther King Day this summer. <laughs> That's all yeah, I was like, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey. I was like, I feel like Arizona just sounds like the whitest shit I've ever heard. I don't even. Well, yeah. I don't Say that. Here's the thing. It it's could cool have been no, any cool thing, of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's the show. Uh, yeah, that's tight. Okay. Person's <laughs> name. Man accused of stealing over a thousand dollars worth of toothbrushes. Then he throws them off a bridge. That Alaska. is some Alaskan bullshit. I'm saying Alaska no, that, sounds super. Hold on, I don't know. I don't know shit about Alaska, bro. I'm saying Florida. That's saying sound, Florida. I'm saying Florida. What do you? Say? I feel like I'm in a game show for real. I hate like, that you guys are. <laughs> Florida. Florida. I think it's Florida. Like, like all together. We're, we're pretty, gonna need a guess in I ten. I felt like I was like nine, winning money and I got scared and it was gonna change on, my answer. Florida. Florida. You guys, what? It's Florida. It's Florida. It's Florida. Florida. What the fuck? I would have lost all my money. That's why I was. For, for about the record, it. let me explain See, why I know this. Oh, I'm yeah. from the south. Yeah. I know crazy white people. Yeah. Okay, I I know them. I ain't been to the south. So. See, I'm a, I'm, I'm a southern boy. I know I can, so I can spot set it. set on the Florida. Woman arrested for allegedly shooting and killing uncle during a family gathering. That's scary. God damn. That's I love how quickly. You know what? I think this is the first Alaskan. Yeah? I think this is the first Alaskan. Because this nigga keep winning, I'm just going to go with him. And if you got the answer wrong on our test, I'm going to be mad and I ain't okay. copying, All right. I ain't I'm copying saying, you no more. I think okay. it's Alaska. I ain't copying no more. I think Courtney is right. It's Florida. <laughs> uh, it's all Florida. All Florida. Was it the red hair? <laughs> She's got red hair? <laughs> man shoots unarmed man over dumpster fire. You sure go, this Alaska! isn't Portland? I'm going for Alaska. Let's go. I'm also Portland. guessing Alaska. Let's go. <laughs> I just want to win one. This could be it's several. It is. Oh, my oh! God. Look, I got to stay warm in September somehow, okay? Y'all be fighting man. over some mediocre it's shit Alaska. in the last I, I, like, I want to know. At 40 below is not mediocre. Oh. <laughs> Remember Sorry. I told you earlier I thought one of y'all was 50-50 Alaska. I thought it was Charlie. So yeah. I would have got every answer wrong. Well, it's because he yeah. looks like he can retain heat. Yeah, he does. He that like he does. He's from Alaska, like nigga, I'm warm. God damn. Yeah. You look shit like a all cold day. motherfucker. God I'm damn. right there with you, man. My I grandpa is from Alaska, so I'm like, yeah. you have I'm Alaskan quarter, blood yeah, running through you. Alaska. Okay. I thought Alaska. Like, blood. can you catch a fish with your bare hands? He's Norwegian, so I don't think it counts at all. No. Damn. Man shoots another man who was who walking, was walking too, his dog. too close. To golf Arizona. That's, no, that's Florida. That's Florida. That's Florida. I hate when you're so set on Florida because you're stressing Florida. me out because you've been right. Florida. I'm hearing a lot of Arizona this from the three, audience. Though. He was 100%. Uh, yeah. He was 100%. Let's just do it. I'm not, Florida. not only does this guy get shot, like I'm tired the, of him the other guy ran up perfect. with a golf club and started smacking him while he was like, sitting next to a real. tree bleeding. This, wow. uh, it got intense, uh, just like it does in Florida. Yep. It's always Florida. Oh, my. You golf nigga. Look. <laughs> you need to move to Florida. No. Florida is the... Every Florida answer has been right. The what two the places Florida? I said I am never going to uh, go perform at is New York. In Florida. Those are the two <laughs> yeah. places. 
Right. Those two places I, I'm not I'm not gonna ever get. I mean, you know. All right, here's a little. This one's a little confusing. Ooh, uh, man lit mother's home on fire in Northern California. That's Alaska. Ooh. He wasn't excited for oh. Florida, so it's that's something Alaska. else. Okay. Cause y'all always true when doing something generating heat. So yeah. that's why. <laughs> I'm going that's why I'm gonna go with Alaska. On Arizona. That. Alaska. I think Alaska. I hate you. It's Alaska. It is Alaska. I this guy, I hate you before he switched because I was he like, can't be stopped. this nigga just knows the city. Yeah, this nigga know the town. Man. Killing this game. My, I just knocked my can opener. Look at this. Throwing shit on the I'm ground. Dropping. Getting so excited. Yeah, because, like, I don't get shit right at home. So, uh... <laughs> All right, I think this next like, one is... I don't get is, shit uh, right Nigga is killing trivia right now. God okay. damn. Family Feud. What the fuck? <laughs> Can I be a part of your family? Man invited the press to <laughs> media availability slot at Mar-a-Lago. Not a single cave, cable news network covered it. That's oh. Arizona. That sounded is so corny. Can you guys, can I get a Ari hint? I mean, Arizona. I, now look, I, I, I hear I mean, a lot of Floridas. Now look, here's the thing. I know that everyone's saying Florida because it says Mar-a-Lago. But uh, you're right that that doesn't mean that person has to be from there. They could have just uh, been passing through. Okay. I mean, I'm stressed. Hold on, we haven't chosen. He lives there. I'm saying Arizona. He does live there. I'm, I'm going Arizona. I, I call him a, a Florida man, the, the orangest Ooh. Florida man of them all. Come on, guys. Yeah. It was. He only got it wrong that time because he changed his mind. That doesn't count. That, yeah. yeah. Hold on. I'm only saying because he actually said Florida you, first yeah. and changed his mind. No, so. But I'm saying you said you he was from there. He didn't look like Florida. He yeah. looks. That's what Florida feels like. It looks like when you look at it on the map. I hate like this nigga. Because he was yeah. like. Florida! And then changed his mind. That's I think, right. like, isn't he from Alaska anyway? So, uh, is he? Trump? It's okay. Come guys. on, I'm trying to win this. Jeez, so gosh. She's still 100%. I, I think, that I think that's 100. the last of my slideshow, but I can grab the extra. Yeah, switch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get just, <laughs> oh, thank yeah. you. I was like, oh, God. And then his computer breaks. We hate you. And then that's all At we least put Obama's yeah. cute ass up there. So I'm a Michelle. <laughs> Goddamn. Put a cute couple, some cute fun. Yeah, I'm not there. going to Florida. That seems Bro, like a place. Bro, after this, fuck Florida. God. Yeah, that's a place Damn. I don't know. I you were saying it's so excited. I'm like, nah. I don't think it's that exciting. I never went down there. Well, don't, go. don't worry, guys. We're going <laughs> to switch to the... For those of you that don't know. Oh, are we on the game? We're so, okay. let's hit it. Well, it's this. It's a continuation of this game. Okay. We, oh, we oh. have, however, a physical... Like card I version of Alaska Man, okay. Florida Man, home version. If you want to play so Alaska you can Man, play. Florida Man, Florida Man at home, we made it. Oh. They made okay. This is the, this is the game we made. Like the everything and nothing. Everything and nothing's game. game. That's fucking Florida Man, high. Arizona okay, Man. All right. Shout Alaska. out to business owners. So you can go buy this. Yeah, I need that's to get dope. one of those. This is for a prototype. Fuck with y'all. I fuck with y'all. Right. I need that. Man dies after hard. located covered yeah. with bees in the front yard. Police say covered with bees. That's Florida. That's Florida? I think that's Florida. Bees? Yeah, a man Bees. died in his I'll front go yard. I'll Florida because I know Florida has a lot of bug shit. Yeah. I'm the only going to say I know that. Florida. Oh, where I'm the saying fuck Arizona, is Arizona honestly. located? It, it's Arizona. Yeah. It is Arizona. Really? I, wait, where is on Arizona? I'm going to be 100. I don't know. <laughs> oh, either? if you would say mosquitoes. What state is by Arizona? Oh, okay. Give me uh, some. Give no, me some. Nevada? Uh, there we go. I was from <laughs> Vegas Mexico, at least. New Mexico? California? On the right? On the right? Okay. Okay, I don't. Yeah, uh, bees look, are gonna definitely be at a hot place. place. I should have went right. with. Moving on. Uh, I should have went oh, with that's, them. That's Mad sad. them. Give me an easy one. An, an easy one. All right. I need an easy uh, one. Yeah, that was. I love that I've heard Charlie say twice now. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. And just okay, <laughs> three more. Three more. I'm I'm reading some. Better like pretty... we're, at least give us three easy ones. Yeah. Look, and you can do hard ones. They're gonna be what the cards are. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> definitely man, that one. Yeah. Man robbed a credit union and then went mm. shopping and dropped spare change in a donation bucket. Authorities. That's say. funny. Alaska. I'd say Alaska too. I'm going Alaska. Wow, that's a Alaska. tough one. I that charity one. right at the end. Like I came up because of the charity. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go boring. with Alaska too. And it sounds. I don't like like think a, nobody from Arizona is gonna give to charity. It and sounds put, like a mm, yeah square. Oh, ass yeah, place I'd say Alaska. Don't have... It's Alaska. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I thought Alaska. Woo! I was like, yeah. All right, this one's, this one's pretty great. A couple started having sex in the back of a police car after they were already under arrest on DUI charges. Oh, that's a hard one. Not Alaska. Ooh. I don't know. It's, that sounds like some party Arizona. shit. I was like Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. We're saying Arizona? Yeah, I think Arizona too. It's Florida. It's Florida. That was a hard one. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is Court wrong with people? Courtney is really the one who's winning this hey, game. Hey, hey. See, that's I'll why I'm not going to buy the game. She's the reason I'm not going to buy it. I if I can't you. win, no, I'm not ah! going into my house. No. Courtney. 
Your Adam birthday's Carlo. in, uh, wait, wait, you are Virgo, yeah. so I, I celebrated this with you, it was yeah. October? September. September. 14. And if I would have got it wrong, I would have been in trouble. Look, I'm just saying I know what to get you next year. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Wait, what's all of our... Yeah, you ain't buying it. That's fine. I'm going to put it in your house. Chris? What's your sign? Oh, I'm Gemini. June 6th. You. I'm a Libra, October 13th. I'm going to be real. I don't know shit about astrology. Cool. Okay. Yep. I know bitches <laughs> like astrology. I'm a Libra moon. I'm a, yeah, I'm a Scorpio under a Virgo moon with, hey. the, with the Hennessy back. Yeah. I like that. Right. Like, nope. <laughs> That's mine. That's what I am. All right, are we ready? Um, is this I'm just, gonna be the last I, one. I'm just an Aquarius. Fuck all you guys. Yeah. All right, one more. One more. Is this the last one? Are we doing it? One more. All right. All right, let's go. This one's rough. Man shot and killed his sister on Thanksgiving for unfriending him on social Florida, media. Florida. Florida. <laughs> Florida. 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 Arizona. Flor. Uh. Uh-uh, Florida. Arizona, because I want to win one in opposite. I Arizona. <laughs> I, don't know I think I'm Florida. Guessing. It's a guess. Any guesses, Chris? Yeah. I honestly also think it's Arizona. Arizona. Damn, I thought you were going to get it because it's Alaska. Uh, it's Alaska. Oh! Come on. Wow. Fuck Alaska, Brad, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to give you I one. Know, I'm going to submit for that festival up there now in Alaska. I'm kind of scared now. Right, now? Nigga, right? now you're, you're scared, scared now. now. <laughs> Jinx, I've been telling stories of Alaska up here, down here, for the last eight years. <laughs> up here, down here. Some of it I thought was jokes, but now I'm scared. No. Now I, I, I have a I girlfriend that we what playfully he... call Stabby. Oh, yeah, I remember oh, that. Yeah. Like, you, nigga Stabby? Yeah. Can, you hit us with the, can you hit us with a Stabby story, Chris? Is White it, people. Yeah. I watched True Crime. Okay. It's all well, white I dude, think we need so. to hear it. All right, guys, look, I have, I have an important question for Ooh. you. I'm going to pick somebody in the audience to act as the voice of reason. <laughs> I got I, one. I'm going to randomly crowd? choose G Way. Okay. Yes! Hey. I forgot I Random. saw the afro walking up. You know what was building. happening. <laughs> I had to act normal because I love that nigga. That nigga Hang funny on. as Hang fuck. On. Another Hang guest on, on this show. He G. is funny as fuck. Stand up comedian is. in this bitch. G, important question. If somebody stabs you with a four pronged fork, yeah. did they stab you once or four times? Four times? Yes. Okay, so I was with this bitch and she stabbed me seven times. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I hate you. Over our three-year relationship. <laughs> Damn. She, she was my <laughs> longest relationship up until Chelsea here. So, you know, it's fine. Everything's fine. This is why we do mental health checks, oh people. My God. This is I where we you, started. I love you, Chris. I love you, Charlie. Y'all are the shit. Yeah. I, I love you both. I love you. Thank you uh, so much for being on. Oh my God. Fuck uh, yes. This was amazing. Thank you for coming out, and being a part of this. I wrote that song two years ago because I've been fucking with That's this true. For so long ago. That's true. Trista's first time I got her up on stage. Uh, I had to yeah. ask her oh my in God, the middle of bringing her up on stage. Uh, well, I asked it terribly, but what I asked was your pronouns. But what I said was, he, she, the. So, because of <laughs> yeah. me, this motherfucker, I didn't know him at first. He's about to cuss the fuck out. <laughs> yes, welcome to the stage, Trista. She, he, uh. Oh. Because I was new and I'm great at riffing and I knew he was a nice person, I looked at this motherfucker. I came on stage. Yep. And I was like, you lucky motherfucker. <laughs> Pulled you up a her nice shirt to show off her boxers as well. But you, I would say, <laughs> well, you just saw me walk out the bathroom pulling up my boxers. <laughs> <laughs> so I see why you confused. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it was, literally. I just got that motherfucking taking a piss and I was literally pulling up my boxers. We caught eyes and like, she, he, nigga, I, I, I can't be mad at the motherfucker. <laughs> That's all I got to say. I can't We're be trying. mad. She and this happens. nigga just started laughing. We just was laughing and... That's all it was. And I was like, I love you, but I'm a she motherfucker. And he's yep. like, and he was like, cool. And we just laughed and it was a great fucking time. But yeah. he I saw like... my boxers and they cute though. They cute though. <laughs> <laughs> I always got keep box. I don't. Shut Jinx. Uh. Jinx, as always, we love I having you on. So I know. Yeah. Undergarments, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Jinx, uh, we always love having you on. Thank love you so much. Thank AC, so much. we love having you on every You're time. You're awesome. Oh my <laughs> fucking God. Sick. Again, thanks to all of you. Thanks to Kelly's. This has been a fantastic night. I want you all to get home safe and good night. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Everything and nothing. A play. Turn it up. Hold up. We chilling in the PDX. Roll up the blunt. Who we having on next? Who we having on? Chris with the comedy. Charlie with the facts. We spitting game. Feeling like some max. 
Everything and nothing, everything and nothing, everything and then O T H I N G. Hey.